So regarding the frontline management of chronic reverse suicide, this is what is important. First, this is to uh, perform the diagnosis of chronic reverse suicide disease. In fact, the diagnosis of chronic reverse suicide disease is based on the presence of uh, diagnostic things or based on the distinctive things plus a biopsy according to the NIH recommendations. Once the diagnosis is performed, you can perform the scoring. So based on the organs and then the overall chronic reverse So this is grading according to the NIH severity scores. And to perform this scores is very important, uh, not only for the patient's follow-up, but also to know if you need some treatment because you will need uh, uh, first-time treatments based on steroids, one milligram per kilo per day for moderate or severe chronic reverse so disease and for mid uh, impairment you will uh, only uh, need to start the systemic steroid in case of um, um, involvement of the joint fasc or fascia uh, so just to conclude the first line treatment remain based on the steroids there is no benefits to add any treatment so far and uh, maybe in the future based on a future clinical trial we'll have some benefit to add some additional treatments but this is not the case uh, until now <laughs>